Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Oh, shit. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were. We were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. This were his parents. What's wrong? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. <laughs> I'm going to get back to him. Sounds good. Here, it's have one. Been here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's uh, really sweet. Don't. Holy. Energy bars. Let's feed the people. Keep them coming. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. It's all melted now. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guy. <laughs> oh man, these are my f parents. It's my brother. It's just sad. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me. And I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. That's kind of cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? <laughs> huh? Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here. Let me have a look. Nothing. Yeah, probably no batteries. Yeah. There are no batteries in this thing. Like well, do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. <laughs> Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Man, you must have so many memories about that store. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Nope, not now. Not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. Oh, I've got another candy bar. Uh. Here, I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't eat it? She's good. I'm trying to keep her fed and warm. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. It's not my daughter. I'm not her dad. Oh, another can batteries are cool. 
that's one. <laughs> ah, there's the second one. Shaving needs. Okay. Hey there. Hi. Oh my god, his name is really Glenn. Working, Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Stay, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. Oh, come on. I know. I'll see if I can find something else for you. <coughs> so, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is... Oh man. Despite the circumstances. Yep. Awkward. We'll sit down. <laughs> okay. He doesn't know how to handle kids. But she's okay. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get up to work now. Yeah. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Oh, please, you didn't Go insert ahead. them correctly, I bet. Frauen und Technik. Oh, man. You fixed it. Sure, I did. The estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event Try to get some rest. Steve. Alive inside. What a mess. I can't, I can't think about them here. How are you doing? Okay. Everyone up there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on it. And there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah. Sure it did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go look at them. <laughs> I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna throw them back. Good. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. This door leads to the back alley. Good photo. Find anything? Rest in peace. It's a photo of the family home's place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. 
I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Great. Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. Well, good. You seem like an okay guy. And the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of. Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Hmm. Oh man. <laughs> Whatever that was. We gotta clear this door for when we find the keys. Okay. It's a walking stick, isn't it? <coughs> a crane. <laughs> What's that? This is my dad's cane. He zip around here on Yeah, forget about the R. Was he sick? No, nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shop lift his way. <laughs> his cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look like you can. My dad gave it to me. Oh, I forgot there was something over there. First aid kit. I think that will come in handy. Luckily, there's nothing I need. No? Hmm. Okay, won't let me. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? <laughs> Here we go. Watch your fingers in the door. <clears throat> Things are scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I all the time. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Maybe. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. <laughs> All right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been Yeah. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen and we didn't talk to each other. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. My finger is bleeding. A little. I think we've got a first aid kit. <coughs> okay. What's 
have a look at that thing. Huh. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered. Yes, please. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. Well, we should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Yeah, that way cool. It's the remote to my dad's TV. That's what I figured. No signal. Luckily, there's nothing I needed in here. Hmm. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. Okay, this is not getting me anywhere. <coughs> Get back into the drugstore with me. Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I... Why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. Okay, what to do now? It wasn't outside. Hey, Connor. Story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. <laughs> From the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. You do radio. That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding, and I hit the blogosphere. That radio sign-off didn't sound too good. You okay? I'm fine. You don't have to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. And again, maybe not. Hey there. This is Glenn, and, uh, I'm kinda in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? What's up? Glade's trapped out at the motor here. Hey, Glade. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <laughs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glade back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. That's what you want to do. Somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there. <coughs> Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a job. Okay, so we need keys and we need to get Glenn back ASAP. How we doing? Good. What's out there? Let's sure. Have a look around. Okay.
Cause this is Thriller Thriller Night I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yet. That really is his brother. What? Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? You're saying he might have the pharmacy keys. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and they cheat up. And the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. Oh, great. Somehow prove that he worked here. I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Hmm. You can do anything with this? No, I could do. What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try them. Well fucking done, Doc. All that dog nonsense might save a life. You say it already has it. It's so quiet. Yeah, watch it. Mr. Brain Dead. Well, not enough. I saw a brick earlier. Great. Okay, I'm going back. Maybe with the cane, I can get that brick. But I think I wanna wanna save um, Glenn first, cause I don't give a shit about the old fart. Stupid fucker. Ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Hey, just walk around. Get down. Ooh. What the hell is that? Hello, oh. <laughs> it's Glenn. Is this Glenn? All right, 
head wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trap up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying to move from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in to help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple of us got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving you. With or without you. Great. Not if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Gwen's damsel in distress. That's two zombies, they're busy. There's another one. Yeah, well, that's four. It's five. Five zombies, eh? Great. I wonder too. I cannot break this. It's just stupid. You need to find a weapon. Yeah, really. Yeah, that would have been too good. Hmm. Well... Yeah, thank you. I know I have to break that window, but with what? It's the biggest, big, big question right now. Hmm. Oh, a cushion. Right. Okay. <coughs> That's not bad. Hey there. <coughs> what are you gonna do with that? Let me know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools. We're making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Great. What are you going to do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools. We're making a bunch of noise. And none with pillows. Great. Yes, please, just let me move back. Or. 
No. No. Oh, cool. There's another way. What do I do? I'm just going for it, eh? 